Hey guys, one second welcome to my channel Unigrabs the Learning Center. Today we're gonna know about fundamental theorem of arithmetic and we're gonna enjoy it very much because it is really very interesting topic. So before that, if you have still not subscribed my channel, then do that fast. Hit the bell icon, press the like button for regular updates. So let's start. The fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Let's see a short definition of it every composite number now what is this composite number composite number is that has more than two factor a number that has more than two factor and that is called composite number so every composite number that can be expressed as a product of prime number and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factor occur so basically is that we can say uh, that composite number is made of product of prime number so let's see the examples of it let's see an example a largest number is given here and that is 32760 and its factorization procedure is given below I hope so you all know that how to do or how to solve a prime factorization problem still I have given here an example but just remember one thing that the number you will divide it with this largest number must be prime number like here 2 3 5 7 and 13 all are prime number so as you can see that uh, the factor of this number is 2 3 5 7 and 13 so after factorization of 32760 we got 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 7 into 13 as a product of prime that is uh, like that there is you can see that 2 into 2 into 2 3 times it is written so we can write it like this now 2 to the power 3 now again you can see that 3 into 3 is written so we can write it like this now 3 to the power 2 and 5 is written once so we will write 5 only 7 is written at uh, 7 is written once so it will be 7 only and 13 is written once so it will be 13 only so and this is the product of power of primes hence the fundamental theorem of arithmetic is proved now let's see another question consider the number 4n where n is a natural number check whether there is any value of n for which 4 ends with the digit 0 so let's check its answer if the number 4n if the number 4n for any natural number where to ends with the digit 0 then it would be divisible by 5 right it should be divisible by 5, 5 then only it will come 0 so in the uh, if we do factorization of 4n so is there prime number 5 no that is not possible because if we do factorization of 4n then we will get 2 only that means 2 is only the uh, prime number we will get in 4n so the uniqueness of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic guarantees that there are no other primes in the factorization of 4n so there is no natural number n for which 4 ends with the digit c let's check another example let's find out the hcf of 672 and 120 by prime factorization method and let's find its lcm so after taking out the prime factorization of 672 and 120 we got 6 equals to 2 into 3 7 equals to 2 to the power 3 and 3 to the power 2 and 120 equals to 2 to the power 3 into 3 into 5 so let's take out first the uh, smallest power so smallest power is what uh, 2 to the power something 2 to the power 1 is the smallest uh, power and at uh, 3 to the power 1 is the smallest power right in all the prime factorization uh, we have took out from 672 and 120 right so uh, the HCF of uh, 672 and 120 will be 
that small prime number uh, the small power common factor only it will be okay that is 2 into 3 equals to 6 and the highest one and the highest power that is 2 to the power 3 and 3 to the power 2 and 5 to the power 1 these all are highest powers right so this will be LCM that is uh, 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 1 and the result will be 360 also notice that 6 into 72 into 120 that is product of the number is not equals to HCF into LCM that is 6 into 72 into 120 is not equals to uh, the HCF that is 6 and multiplication with LCM that is 360 is not uh, it's not same so the product of three number is not equal to the product of their HCF Let's take another example that is let's find the HCF of 96 and 404 by prime factorization method and LCM and let's verify that LCM into HCF is equals to product of the two number that is 96 into 404 uh, is equals to HCF and in and it's LCM so let's check out first uh, it's prime factorization and it's given below that is 96 equals to uh, 2 to the power 5 into 3 after taking out the prime factorization and 404 is equals to the 2 to the power 2 into 101 after taking out the prime factorization and HCF equals to 2 to the power 2 equals that is 4 because the uh, lowest number or uh, lowest power is 2 to the power 2 that's why it is the HCF so uh, what uh, what will be the LCM LCM will be the highest one highest uh, your, your highest power will be your LCM okay so according to our formula uh, LCM is equals to product of number divided by HCM so put according to it okay so uh, the product of number is equals to 96 into 404 divided by 4 why divided by 4 because our HCF is 4 so the result will be 9696 so LCM into HCF equals to product of two number and that is our LCM can what 9, uh, 9696 and our HCF is 4 we will multiply with it now it's easy to equals to product of number and that is 96 into 404 so the answer is C yes it is proved. Now let's take another example where two expressions are given. So we need to prove that these two expressions are composite number or not. So as you know that composite number are the product of prime numbers. Okay. So in our first expression what it is given 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13. So first what we will do we will take out common from here. So we took 13 common from here why we took 13 because 13 arise twice a time and after taking out 13 common from here we get what we get 13 whole to the power bracket 7 into 11 into 1 plus 1 so uh, after doing that we will do multiplication then addition you I think so you all know the Bodmash rule we have to do multiplication first then addition and after doing that we get 13 whole to the power bracket 77 plus 1 and again after addition of 77 plus 1 we get 13 into 78 after that we will take out factor of 78 so after taking out the factor of 78 we get 3 into 2 into 13 right and the and the 13 that was present before it will be also be there so how many 13s we get from here we get 2 times 13 and according to uh, composite number uh, twice a time a prime number should be arise then only it will be composite number so hence it is proved that the first expression is our composite number let's see the second expression and in our second expression we see 5 is common from here because 5 arise twice a time and after taking out 5 common from here we get 5 whole to the power bracket 7 into 6 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 1 plus 1 so we need to solve the bracket problem first according to Bodmash rule and then multiplication then after solving the bracket problem with multiplication we get 1008 plus 1 plus 1 whole to the power 5 I'm sorry 5 whole to the power 1008 plus 1 plus 1 
then uh, after doing addition of the bra- inside the bracket we get 1010 that is 5 into 1010 and we need to take out the common factor of 1010 and that will be 5 into 5 into 101 okay so you can see that 5 arise thrice a time right so 5 is a composite number because it is said that a number a prime number that is arised more than twice a time is called composite number right so it is proved that uh, the second expression is also a composite number let's see a problem sum regarding this there is a circular path around the sports field sonia takes 18 minutes to drive one round of the field while ravi takes 12 minutes for the same same suppose they both start at the same point and at the same time and go in the same direction after how many minutes will they meet again at the starting point so it's clear that they are moving at the same direction at the same time so the method will be what it will be else because we need to calculate both of their time so after taking out the common factorization for, uh, or LCM of 18 and 12 we get 2 into 3 into 3 into 2 into 1 and that is 36 after multiplying so Sonia and Ravi will meet at the same starting point after 36 minutes I hope guys you all like my video and if you have any problem then please comment it below I will definitely help you Till then, subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon, press the like button for a regular update. Till then, stay healthy, stay safe. I will see you soon on my next video.